What's up everybody, it's The Offspring, and this is Farming Simulator 2015 Freight Hauling. In today's episode of Hauling, which I think may be the last episode of Farming Simulator 2015 as far as hauling goes, because we are only as, I think this is the 20th, yeah, the 20th, so we're like four days away from FS 2017, which is amazing. I cannot wait. Oh my god, like, <laughs> I've been counting down the days, guys, because there's I don't know I just I really think I need a change and um, I'm kinda at the point to where I'm really burned out on uh, 2015 because uh, I you know am one of like I guess like the biggest of the farm sim dudes and stuff uh, so I you know <laughs> have to record a lot of farm sim <laughs> so you know when you especially since you know they were re I think they yeah they release like every two years I don't know if it's like exactly on the two-year mark every year but it's pretty much like two years and you know when you're doing something for two years and you kind of want to do a little change up you know <laughs> it's kind of feels good to do that so but yeah guys we are hauling with the ram mega cab cummins i chose this one because it's got a slower acceleration because uh we have today we are hauling some porta potties and we're also hauling uh two vehicles hot shot style and the vehicles that we're hauling are really, really expensive stuff. Sports cars, Ferrari, and I think we got the Plymouth Cuda in there. The one that looks like the Challenger. But with these porta potties, I really like them. They're AO baked and everything. Just pretty much all of this TP people's uh, mods. But, you know, <laughs> a lot of you guys said, uh, I don't know if it's the uh, AO baking or something like that. But I'm pretty sure y'all said the AO baking hurts y'all's frames. And I feel that some AO baking does hurt the frames it especially hurts my frames because when I didn't have the uh, these on here I uh, had a hell of a hell of a lot more frames but I'm, I'm still getting you know playable frame rates and stuff it's nothing like bad or anything like you you can't really tell but like on my end you can and it's primarily like the frame lag is when I'm just looking in like certain areas and it may you know actually be the map that it's huge but I really didn't expect or have any frame rate problems when I played on this map before so I didn't really think I would uh, recording this so yeah over here is the uh, hot shot combo of course I'm gonna be using the new six liter because I love it I love it I love it I love it and I'm very very happy Cameron got this and released it you know which I'm gonna be making uh, I think I think Cameron or somebody or Van or someone said they're making a custom offspring version that's going to be up and stuff, so I cannot wait for that. You guys are going to love that. But yeah, let's go ahead and start hauling. And unfortunately, I don't, I'm pretty sure I said this, but the porta potties don't lock on this trailer. And that goes for a lot of freight that you'll haul, like pallet wise and stuff, and, you know, some other stuff, but. It, it didn't want to lock like it's not when you lock the load um it doesn't lock the actual you know porta potty waste closet waste whatever you want to call <laughs> whatever you call these things portable restrooms i call them porta potties some people call them other things but um yeah they don't lock onto the trailer i try different trailers and it's probably because something's up with the actual like waste uh things but the bobcat locks perfectly so th that's the main reason i chose this truck right here if you guys were asking me you know why'd you choose choose this truck uh because i know you like to drive the second gen but yeah let's go ahead and go off and uh, i like that see how the it, it decelerates slow and accelerates slow because other trucks you know accelerate fast and whatnot so uh you end up having that stuff slide all around which you know if we get in a wreck as is we're, we're screwed but uh that's why we'll go ahead and save the game before we do anything just in case we have to revert back if we crash because yeah no lock and script it's crazy because like you know people be like oh it's more realistic but actually no you have stuff strapped down in real life dude I'm seeing like artifacting on my screen I'm not sure if it's picking it up on the uh, recording but like it's like my screen flashes like it just started doing that like uh, about five minutes before I hit the record button like I'm kind of scared that my graphics cards like maybe about to just straight up die like just friggin like kill itself and just take its own life and and that would be horrible man right before the release of farm sim if my graphics card pooed out on me I'd have to go buy another graphics card and when I'm trying to uh, buy the new one whenever I build my computer man I could have sworn I heard some uh like a something like a bug one second guys it's like a fl 
Alright, problem solved. You probably can't hear that thing no more. I killed it. It was like stuck on my fan. But yeah, we're going up here to uh, deliver the waste baskets. I was going to haul more things, but that would have been way too long of a video. And uh, I really wanted to unload these things. Because normally, you know, when we do a lot of uh, big hauls or big jobs or whatever, sometimes we're not able to finish the job. And that's uh, one thing I guess I'm, I, I kind of want to start doing is like, you know, maybe limiting what we're doing. But that's totally up to you guys. I mean, you do you, you, I know you guys said y'all like the long videos or do you want them short uh, or do you want me to keep them long still? I know y'all just recently said y'all like the long videos and uh, that means like, you know, 20 minutes plus. And uh, I enjoy making the long videos uh, just because they're fun, you know, it, it's, I, I like it, you know. It uh, allows me to do a lot more cool stuff instead of be limited to such a short time frame. Man, look at the cracks in the, the asphalt. That might be why, actually, uh, when I look in certain directions that it lags, because this m uh, map itself is just textured really, really, really realistic. I mean, the road itself looks like you're actually driving on a regular road in real life. But yeah, we are coming up on the area where we're dropping these porta potties off. It's right down here in this town. We are on the county road map, by the way. Link is in the description. I'm sure you guys have already downloaded it. It's a phenomenal map. It's the map me and Squad are also going to be doing our dual commentary on, which uh, sh you should uh, look look forward to seeing that uh, this weekend on both of our channels. What we decided to do, unless. Uh, you guys want us to maybe like redo or something but um which uh we are uh we're gonna be definitely you know having the two uploads but we had it planned to where we recorded the same thing like we you know we're we're both uh talking and stuff like that um doing the same thing in each vehicle i mean each uh well yeah each vehicle and stuff like that but um but each you know uh server we're, we're all doing the same thing you know but you're gonna get like different perspectives I guess you would say you know you're gonna get like my point of view of what we're doing and then his point of view unless you guys want something different but yeah check it out red light red light red light I'm gonna be driving more realistically man look how freaking expensive the uh, the gas here is at the B pistols man Jesus I'm paying like 211 for diesel Which may be just because I'm in the south. Okay, does this light turn uh, green or, or are we just, you know, <laughs> literally at a long light? <laughs> or is it maybe like realistic timings? But if this thing doesn't go green soon, we're definitely just going to cut it over and uh, go ahead and take the traffic ticket. Because why not? Going to give it about 10 more seconds. Because we should be turning green. Oh, nope. Oh, we're good. Yep, there we go. As I said that, it turned green. Fire. Yee. Let's uh, switch on to the pedals since we're driving in the realism mode. Okie dokie. We are now using the SciTac pedals. Alright. That's where we gotta go. Dropping these off at the train station. Yeah, I'm kind of also sad to see FS15 come to an end because, you know, Farming Simulator has done so much for me and I really, oh, what, what, yes, this map I am going to be sad because it just came out for 15 and I don't want to wait a long f time for it to come out in 17, but I'm sure somebody's going to convert it and f hopefully post credits, but, you know, that's one thing, I I've said it before, I'm very scared about <laughs> 2017 because anybody can convert a mod and they're gonna like convert other people's works and not post credit you know what I mean and it's just gonna be uh, uh, giants do you not realize that this game has literally um, gained its following for mods and, you know I, I don't understand that you know why giants doesn't realize okay mods yeah that's why people buy farming simulator but when they don't have or do something to make it to where modders are going to quit 
you know, um, not all of them, but, you know, it's going to cause a lot, you know, to quit, uh, give or take now or, you know, in the future. The same thing went with uh, 2013. But man, I hate that, dude. Some See how it just knocked that? I had, I had you know, ease of use uh, getting these things on just maybe a couple hiccups, but, man, I had to rearrange these things when I figured out that the locking script didn't work on uh, on these like because I had them like kind of spaced out looking all neat and stuff and that's why they didn't look all neat because I literally uh, had to uh, straight up just fix them all but we're not gonna we'll, we'll get that one last whoa the other one came up yeah because they were like all on the edge literally <laughs> I'm not even joking they were I'm just gonna push them <laughs> because or unless the load still locked Lock load now. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, no issue getting these things all, uh, you know, situated on here. But getting them reorganized, man, was a pain in the butt because, I don't know, for some reason just my pallets wouldn't slide under, just like now. Like, I, I have no idea. There we go. Only because the other, the one that I'm picking up is literally being pushed against the other one which is being pushed against two other ones that's why this one came down smoothly so let's go place him right here the uh, train station is going to be handling the uh, actually laying them down wherever they want I'm just kind of doing my deed and dropping them off but yeah now I'm gonna probably have somebody in the comments be like oh dude your fork's not lined up by the way and uh, yeah man all right. See how it's kind of, trailer's kind of acting like it's loads locked because when it kind of, it teetered like that when the uh, when the load was locked, it just, just it didn't just fall over. You know what I mean? Because like gravity obviously like be like yo homie like this thing is def gonna fall, but no 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 no. See how I just popped it up? Yeah, they get like stuck in the ground, and when I spawned them in, I uh, when I was like initial initially uh, grabbing them to load them on the the trailer the first time. It was like they were kind of stuck in the ground a little bit, you know. And uh, since since I recorded this, I've rebooted my game, so maybe like they got stuck in the trailer a little bit. See how see how the pallet is like sunken in like that? I don't understand. Look, look, see the pallet? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You seen that, guys? You saw that? That was weird. That was so weird. All right. That was like hella weird. I. I didn't lift up the trailer like I just did, but I straight up, like, I don't know what went on. I don't know. I feel like the load is locked, but I'm, like, not being told that it's locked. There we go. I straightened out those other two right there. Let's do a little experiment. Let's drag this, drag this thing right here, and uh, try to do this. And we also have inverted controls on the boot cat, guys, so uh, that doesn't help too. But that's not the problem. Okay, when it's on the ground, it seems to work good. But you just gotta put your forks like all the way into the ground, and uh, there's no collision kind of on the gr on the forks in the ground and stuff. But on the trailer, yeah, we got that ish. We got that ish, man. Wait, you guys seeing that? It says attach. That's why, guys. These friggin' things right here, these uh, pallets, have like attach points on them. And my forky McFork face has uh, attach points on it also. Look, 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 look. Schwendele do, Schwendan, Schwendele do, Schwendan. Yeah, um. So that's why. These things get attached. They get attached to you guys, like straight up. Straight, straight up. I don't understand that. What's the point? Maybe uh, to where like you, when you when you do get it on, you freaking attach it, and it's like, oh, it's not gonna fall over on me. But still, it makes it a pain to load it. And uh, I, now that I remember, uh, two videos ago in the construction video, those uh those concrete circle things, those like ditch pipe concrete ones, uh, they did the same thing. They they attached to this forky fork. 
and uh, it was a really pain in the butt to get all that stuff loaded on that's why you didn't see me load it on or <laughs> unload it in the video because uh, I was kind of scared when I uh, initially loaded it on and had a pain I was like yeah probably not gonna do that in the video <laughs> So, yeah, I guess that's a thing of uh, whoever did these, you know, TP people. I guess they, uh, you know, decide to put uh, lock scripts on both their McForky and also... So what would happen if you didn't use McForky, you know what I mean? Like, because McForky has got, like, it's, 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 you know, attach point on its back and then it's attach points on right here, see? But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's cool and all when you, like... You know, you just drive it around, would it have done friggin' swing all over and fall out the uh, McFork? But, or does it? Oh. I don't know. Weird. Very weird. Alright, let's go over here. We're gonna leave that one that fell right there, just because, like, why not? Actually, no, we'll move it. We'll move it. Move them all in the same little like, general vicinity. Alrighty, come on, man. Dude, you, you, you're not... I'm not liking you right now, man. Why did you get up here? Alright. Aha! Look at that, I didn't even freaking pick it up. Whoa, boy. I didn't even pick it up uh, with pallet side. Usually it, it did never let you do that, but I guess it was just like, I'm sorry. <sighs> Wonderful. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be doing uh, some f cool farming stuff in uh, 2017. Come on, get off that hitch. Because I have this sick idea for a uh, farm series on uh, farms in 2017. It's going to be cool, a little cool little agricultural um, installation uh, that I did in earlier uh, 2015. I did some uh, farm sim farming agricultural vids. It's just, you guys, you know, I guess are... Uh, like in these style vids or whatever you know a lot more like the the different miscellaneous style stuff um but you know we're still definitely going to be doing a lot cool stuff and uh also we're going to be doing a lot new stuff just like how we did new stuff and uh in 15 then we did it in 13 and uh so on all right Yeah, guys, if you want to play with me tonight on GTA, make sure to join my session. It'll be a public uh, lobby with just, like, nobody in besides us because we found a way to glitch the game to where we can be in a public lobby, but we're uh, just by ourselves, and nobody can join unless, like, they join me, like, personally, you know? Um, so that's going to be cool if you guys want to definitely do some biker stuff because uh, I'm a big, big fan of the uh, biker DLC. Now that I kind of figured out that we can attach these things, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to drive them around. I'll tell you that. Yeah, make sure uh, while you're down there in the description, if you're still watching this video, to me, uh, please, please, please uh, slap a like on this video and also comment down below what I was asking because it helps me out tremendously. And let's see if we can get 800 likes on this video, guys. Farm Sim 2015 is coming to an end. Uh, let's see if we can go out on a bang. And uh, yeah, it'd be really, really awesome to uh, do that because it would show me this amount of support and uh, and just 
make me hyped, you know what I mean? Because I'm already hyped for 2017, but I want to see how hyped you are. So if you're ready for 2017, make sure to slap a like on this video because we're definitely going to be having all sorts of 2017 videos. And make sure to spread the channel to your friends and uh, and tell them about it. And you know, tell them uh, tell them about the game as well. Get them into farm sim. You know, get them into uh, simulator games. You know, tell them friggin' Offspring's amazing. He's awesome. Probably the best friggin' uh, American dude. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. There we go. I was trying to slide that thing because it just would not let me load it. <laughs> Halloween's coming up too. I'm kind of scared for Halloween to be honest with you guys, especially having younger uh, family and relatives. Um, just because of that clown stuff and and I, I'm, I never gave in to the clown hype guys and and whatnot and and people were making so much stuff up especially around here you know they'd be like oh you know seen this clown this and that blah, blah blah whatever and i'm like you do know like you freaking out like that is just giving in to like with these like idiots who uh who dress up as friggin clowns and think they're john wayne gacy or something I don't know, man. I just don't like it, but I, I, the only thing I'm worried about is Halloween because everybody, of course, is Halloween wearing a mask, you know? And uh, just like every year, you know, a lot of stores shut down for Halloween primarily because, you know, everybody's wearing a mask, so it's easy to rob people, which, you know, is pretty stupid if uh, you, you go out and rob people, especially with, like, you know, the day when the most kids are out and stuff like that, which just sickens me, I swear. Like, I, I hope to God uh, all you guys stay safe because, man, I would I don't want to be reading some, something about any of you guys, let alone anybody that I know or anybody in general because, man, those, uh, as soon as I heard about them clown things, man, all I could think about was uh, Halloween. And, Shoot, man. I, I, I just, I, I hope, man, like, everybody's gonna be probably dressing up, like, as clowns, just, just as funny, you know what I mean, like, because of a whole, the whole thing that happened and everything, but that's just gonna make the scenario worse, because, you know, like I said, everybody's in a mask, and then you're gonna have all these people dressed as clowns, so you're not gonna be able to distinguish what's a threat and what's not a threat, you know, so just make sure to not, you know, like, I, I'm sure your parents say this, just don't talk to strangers, man. I per I'm personally, if I bring out my relatives to go trick-or-treating, I'm carrying my pistol on me. I'm not playing no games. God damn, no way. I can tell you that. If, 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 if somebody tries to touch my family, they are dead because I don't I don't mess like that. But, I don't know, guys. I, just please be stay safe because, literally, I'm, t uh, I'm telling you, that, that whole topic right there just scares me really bad. And, I don't know. It's, I'm having a hard time even talking about it because it's making me have to think about stuff that I just don't like to think about, so I'm, I'm going to stop talking about that right there. But, oh, got out my truck just there. But, I mean, what is your plans for Halloween, you know, is, is, that's what I was kind of wondering too, you know, if, uh, if you got some plans for Halloween, let me know down in the comments what you're doing for Halloween and what you're dressing up at. It's, it better not be a clown, <laughs> i tell you that. But, yeah, um, let me know. I would like to definitely know, because, uh, I personally, I don't even know if I'm a, I'm not, I don't, I doubt I'm even dressed up. I don't really do the whole Halloween thing since I was a little, little kid. Nowadays, I just kind of treat it like every other day and maybe go to a show or something like that. Like, um, most likely I'm going to Hell's Gala and, uh, Steve Aoki and a couple people, Wookie and all them are playing, so I'm probably just going to go rave my face off, but... You know, that's just like every other day, but it's just like they're on Halloween, so see how that goes. And uh, I should have a good time. Thought my truck just killed just now. Let's turn off the hood because we don't need it no more. I like this truck, man. Look at the suspension. Beautiful, beautiful. Got the little stack in the back. Oh, oh, another thing, uh, the Oxbeam video is coming out, uh, Sunday. Sunday, 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 the Oxbeam video is coming out. Uh, did the review, 
like literally I did so much stuff in that video uh, for the aux beam uh, light bar oh come on we did we did the review the unboxing overview got friggin awesome clips and stuff it's just it was really really fun cool video and I can't wait to work with them more in the future which most likely we'll be doing a on the top light bar from on top of a little stick leaker so yeah let's go ahead and go off these we are dropping off to the right whoa so happy I got a six liter yeah buddy yeah buddy it's so funny when uh when <laughs> Cameron trolled the people and released like I guess not the one on uh all the sites and whatnot I, I was like you know let me get the real one or something I posted on Facebook I didn't know he made it and I guess like I forgot to check my Skype messages he sent me but I was like, damn, you best send it to me. He's like, yeah, check your Facebook messages. <laughs> He's like, you already got it. And I'm like, oh, uh, thank you. And then I was supposed to uh, do a dual commentary in this video of the release, but ended up getting home way, way too late. But this thing is freaking awesome. It's flawless. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Whoa. 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 Oh yeah, no collision, baby. Whoa. I'm kind of glad that just happened because this freaking farm is beautiful. It is beautiful, guys. That was probably later that crash right there is because I just switched <laughs> to uh, from keyboard back to uh, which we call it the uh, this thing right here. Oh, whoa, to the steering wheel mid going like 90 miles an hour all right let's drop these off what do you do hold up i wish more of you guys watched the gta vids because i i really enjoy making them like it ties into the lot like the, the change type stuff and uh, whatnot. Not saying I'm not gonna stop doing farms and because I, I love it just as much, but I'm I'm probably not gonna feel that way after uh, 17 gets released. But you know, chances are like two years and a couple ch uh, days and change away from farms in 2019, I'm probably gonna say the same thing that I just said just now <laughs> without a doubt. Look at this Ferrari guys, pretty nast, pretty nast. Let's check, let's check. Oh, left alt. That's cool. Too bad I have my friggin left alt set up to the HUD hider and it's gonna pop up text every time. <laughs> but yeah, very cool Corvette. I'm just kidding, it's a freaking Ferrari. I wanna see if people will be like, there's not a Corvette. But no, this is a cool Ferrari. I like it. I like Lamborghinis a lot more. And I really don't like sports cars. If I did have to get a sports car, and that's because I had like unlimited friggin' money. Uh, I did the money cheat in life. And I would probably get me a, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, hang on, let me park this. No, but I would probably friggin' cheat mode my my way into a uh, Lamborghini Purple Gallardo. And maybe maybe, maybe the other one, uh, the Aventador or whatever, but I don't know. Lamborghinis are like the only supercars that I think look cool to me. Because I'm just more of a diesel truck guy. Like, I'm, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you could give me a Ferrari and I'd probably sell it and just build myself a sick Cummins. You know? Probably be like a Ford body Cummins motor. And I'd throw an Alice transmission and just build the rest of it to crap. That's probably what I would do with your Ferrari money, buddy. Yep. But, uh, but yeah guys that's going to be about it for this video if you enjoyed it please give me a big like and a comment on it and uh, make sure to follow me on all the social media stuff if you want to stay updated with me uh, my Facebook and Instagram is Offspring Gaming and uh, the Snapchat is Skorkin S-K-O-R-K-I-N a lot of you guys watch my Snapchat it's crazy you guys are freaking killing it on the Snapchat shout out to all the people who have uh, added me on Snapchat because we're getting like 800 views to uh, 1200 views like 800 at the minimum, but lately it's been like we're getting like a thousand to 1200 views of Snapchat story now, and we do like I don't know like five to 15 a day, 
So y'all guys are killing it. Y'all y'all are killing it. Y'all are like getting more friggin' views and small YouTube chat and stuff, which is friggin' awesome. That's why I love you guys so much. You know, forever and you're dead. And you guys are family. And I don't know. You just guys are awesome. Like, there's no other words. I can't think of. I would say too many words, but there's just so many words to describe you guys. And just, I, I'm really grateful for you guys. You, you have got me through a lot, and I really appreciate that. And you, you'll never know, and I wish I could show it, and I try to show it with giveaways and stuff, but that's just, to me, not enough, and I wish I could do more. And uh, definitely in the near future, once we have the capabilities to do that, we will. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what it should be later.